What's going on guys? So I get the question asked a lot about how do I get out of certain ranks? Like how do I get out of plat? I'm hard stuck silver. How do I get to gold? You know, these kind of questions. So I thought I'd make a video kind of generalizing a lot of the issues that I'm noticing in my coaching sessions for the respective ranks. Um, so this video is going to kind of go over bronze and iron. Uh, and I clumped them together because both of them usually struggle with the same amount of things. Um, and I think if you fix these issues, it's just going to skyrocket you to silver. So we're going to start off with settings. Uh, the reason for this is usually people who are in iron or bronze usually don't have the best PCs. Um, so to make you a little bit better and have that edge over a lot of your players, you're going to want to have optimal settings. Um, so this is just going to go over some of the video settings that I personally use. And if you have a lower end PC, I also recommend using this. I have a high end PC and I still use these settings because I like to have very high FPS. Um, there's also going to be a tens optimization video linked in the description. I, that's what I use. It gives you a bit of an edge as well uh, if you're running on Windows. Um, so basically for the graphics quality, I run low, 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 off, off, and then 4x, 4x, and then everything off. Um, the only thing that you want to keep on is the multi-threaded rendering. Um, and uh, for the general settings, if you have a NVIDIA card, you want to make sure that this is on plus boost. Uh, cap your FPS. I think I notice a lot more consistent issue or consistency um, if I cap my FPS. So I cap mine at 300. Um, if you have a lower end PC and you're only averaging like 100 or something, you can cap it at you know your free refresh rate if it's 144 hertz monitor. Uh, if you have a 60 hertz monitor and you're getting like 150 FPS, you just you know cap it at 200 or cap it at 300. Um, you don't. It doesn't have to be what the refresh rate is. I, I noticed that my game is smoother even if I had a 60 hertz FPS or 60 hertz monitor and I just crank up the FPS. Now, uh, before you even hop into unrated or ranked, you want to make sure that you are your aim is good. Your aim is kind of, um, you know, consistent. Uh, you know, you have a good control over your mouse. It glides well on your mouse pad. Uh, I have a couple videos on sensitivity. I could also link in the uh, description, finding the most optimal sensitivity. The idea is just if you have a lot of room to work with, you can get away with lowering your uh, sense. If you're playing on a very short mouse pad, you can up the sense a bit. Um, the idea is like you don't want to have it too low. I'd also recommend turning off mouse acceleration. I think it's, it's a very bad thing to have on. Some players do have it on, but I recommend against it. Um, and uh, yeah, you just want to shoot around in the practice range with the bots and you want to be moving while you're doing this too. You don't want to just sit still and just be a turret and just one tap like this. This doesn't actually get you ready for any sort of game. This is why I'm also against third party software too, because you're just sitting still, you're clicking heads and then you hop into a game and you're like, well, Joel's, how come I can't get shot like the same kind of aim I do in my aim labs <laughs> and the thing is because you're not moving it doesn't replicate how it does how you're supposed to perform in a real game right you're usually moving around you know you're spraying maybe a spray transfer and you know crosshair placement is a big one so you just want to make sure that your aim is clean and crisp and you know you, you have this comfortability of moving around and shooting and flicking um and this is like your main focus, right? This is something that you should be spending most of your time on rather than just spamming unrated and spamming ranked. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. It is very good to have a good understanding of what agents do what, um, how the game actually gets played. You know, you have to plant the bomb and so on and so forth. But even with all that aside, I think you can get to silver or um, at least the higher end of bronze just by having a good sense of gun control. Um, so this should be your, your first step uh, before getting a full understanding of the game and all its little, uh, you know, nuanced details. So the only time I would ever recommend using a third party software like Kovacs or Aim Labs or anything like that is if you're brand new to mouse and keyboard. Um, let's say you were playing console or this is just your, you know, your first time playing on PC and you're not really comfortable with aiming in general and moving then it wouldn't be too bad. However, I still would recommend the practice range. I think the practice range would accomplish everything that you'd really need. Uh, not only that, but it gives you, you know, familiar familiarity with the game itself, you know, considering you're playing Valorant. So I'm gonna go over the consistency side of things. Um, and this is going to differ from different ranks, uh, but the definition for consistency in iron slash bronze, I am referring to how often are you playing this game, right? 
uh if you want to get better at something you have to put time into it right and if you can do it every day then that's where you're gonna excel even if if it's for 30 minutes let's say that you only have 30 minutes to play the game because you know you're busy people have lives etc not everyone is a nerd like me <laughs> um but uh, if if you can play 30 minutes of a death match or 30 minutes of practice range, that's fine if you only have 30 minutes on that day. Um, but if you can try and play every single day, I promise you, you're going to increase your, uh, you know, your skill exponentially. Uh, because if you're only playing one day a week, it's very hard to get better and, and improve. You just got to imagine you're learning an instrument, right? If you're only playing that instrument one day a week for a, an hour or two, it's not the same if you played every single day for 30 minutes, right? So if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate a like and a comment below. Uh, I plan on doing these for all ranks. And if you have any other questions, you could always reach out to me in Discord DMs or, you know, leave a comment below. I'll try to respond to everybody. Other than that, guys, peace. Have a good one.